Margaret Sendeo is one of the countless young girls in Tanzania who are forced into female genital mutilation every day. She's now 14 years old, but one of the bad memories that lasts forever in her mind was when, at the age of 11, she nearly bled to death when she was subjected to FGM. We were nine girls at the time we were taken into the ceremony house. Then one woman came and started cutting us. We bled a lot. Some were taken to hospitals. Others have died. I was not willing, and I can't wish to see other girls undergoing circumcision. More than 25% of girls and women have undergone FGM in Tanzania. In rural pastoral communities, many girls are forced to undergo FGM by their parents in the hopes of securing a hard dowry. Girls who have not undergone it are believed to be more promiscuous. Others are forced by their family in the name of tradition, an act without which they will be shunned in their villages. If a girl get married without being circumcised, according to us Maasai, it's a sin. That's why if married, then a man finds out that a Maasai girl is not circumcised, he will reject her because he says she's still a young girl and not a woman. To end the brutal tradition, healthcare non-profit AMREF introduced an alternative rite of passage with non-harmful traditional rituals to mark and celebrate a girl's initiation into womanhood. More than 15,000 girls have gone from girlhood to womanhood while avoiding FGM. The alternative passage of age. Once they've come of age, we follow all their traditions but add one segment, teaching the girls on reproductive health and their gender rights. We are also celebrating the age passage ceremony together, but without circumcision. So, we've removed the circumcision segment and we plan to remove it permanently. This was also a way to make a living for circumcisers through getting money and gifts. But through the program, circumcisers have stopped their business. AMREF is now providing them with assistance in the form of loans. When I circumcise a girl, I get one goat, which is like 50,000 shillings. But now I have stopped to circumcise girls. Until this time, I don't circumcise anymore. Although the practice is illegal in Tanzania, it continued illegally in some communities, which carried it out in secret initiation or rite of passage ceremonies. The problem is starting to decrease, but nowadays statistics show that some communities, especially the cow-based communities, they have noticed that the government has been strong in fighting these acts. What they do is that as soon as a child is born, they immediately circumcise her. Meanwhile, Margaret is celebrating the same ceremonies that led her into FGM three years ago, but now she's smiling as more than 450 girls of her age mark the passage of age without undergoing the hostile traditional act. Charles Combe, for VOA News, Tanga, Tanzania.